What's up guys and welcome once again to another video. My name is Soy Ricardo and and we have an excellent video this week. So in this week's video, we're gonna go ahead and compare a 12 year old camera and we're gonna see if it can still hold up in 2022. Now we're gonna be comparing this 12 year old camera to the current camera that I use for photography and video. And we're gonna go ahead and compare side by side to see if this 12 year old camera can still hold up in 2022. So before we begin, let me go ahead and introduce both of our competitors. Let me go ahead and introduce my 12 year old camera. Now this, this is my Canon 60D. Now some of the specs about this camera are pretty spectacular. For one, it has an 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. It also comes with a three inch LED screen. Now this camera does shoot in full HD, so 1080p video, and it shoots in 60 frames a second at 720p. So those were pretty awesome features for back then. It also came with a nine point autofocus, which was one of the key features of this camera and some advanced creative features that allow you to add filters to the actual photos that you are taking in a live view. So that, those were pretty cool features. And this is going to be our first contender. Now, we're gonna go ahead and shoot video and photos and we're gonna go ahead and shoot videos and photos with the camera that I'm currently using right now. With that, let me go ahead and introduce our second competitor. Now this is the Canon EOS R and is the camera that I'm currently filming with right now so I can't physically show it to you. This has a 30 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor, one of the best dual pixel autofocus in any Canon camera and it does 4K up to 30 frames a second and does 1080p up to 60 frames a second. This camera was released in 2018. So it's a four year old camera as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take some test videos and some photography and we're gonna go ahead and compare them side to side to see if you at home can tell the difference. Obviously, once it's gone through the YouTube compression and all that, will you still be able to tell? So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin this experiment. Alright guys, so we all saw the footage and the photos from both of these cameras. Now to my surprise, this Canon 60D is still a pretty good camera for photography. Now if you are someone out there who is thinking about becoming a photographer or wanting to get into photography but maybe don't have 
you know, the budget to buy an expensive camera. I don't even have the budget. But let's say you're on a budget of $1,000 or maybe less, maybe $500. This is still the 60D. I feel is still a great camera if you want to use it for photography. Even though it's only 18 megapixels, I feel in comparison with the photos from the EOS R, it's they're pretty goddamn close. Now, if we're gonna be pixel peeping, then yes, I can maybe probably say that the photos from the 60D do feel a little softer once you zoom in like 300% or more, but that's just probably because of the 18 megapixels in comparison to the 30 megapixels on the EOS R. But in overall, in any scenario where this would go like Instagram or Facebook or on any social media, I feel like both of these images are still awesome, both of them. So, all right now, let's go ahead and talk about the video capabilities of these cameras. Now, unfortunately, having this 60D and it being a 12 year old camera, the autofocus on this camera is not as good as this camera, the one that's recording me right now. It's literally tracking my eye and the autofocus is great. Now on this older camera, it only had a nine point autofocus system, which for 12 years ago, it was pretty awesome, but now it's very, very bad. So when it comes to video, just the autofocus part makes it so bad that I don't even wanna take video with it. But when it comes to photography, I feel like it still has a lot of potential for photography though. But for video, unless you are gonna do some manual focusing or you're gonna have somebody to pull focus for you, maybe if you get that perfect focus, then yes, you can get some nice, decent, decent quality footage good enough to post on YouTube for sure. It still has pretty decent video capabilities, but the Canon EOS R definitely the champion in this round, so. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this week's video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Make sure you hit and smash the notification bell so you guys can get notified for future videos. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you notice a difference from uh, my 60D to the EOS R. Uh, let's have a conversation. I'll see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next week. Peace.